Welcome to our worship service. My name is Malcolm Scanlon, and together with Carolyn, we are part of the team of chaplains with Wesley Mission Queensland. Let us worship God. We light the Christ candle to remind us that Christ is the light of the world, and in him there is no darkness. Let us join together in our call to worship, our responsive call to worship. What joy it is to gather together, Christ in our midst. God's peace, friends, is present among us, flowing as a fresh stream through our lives. The peace of the Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us join together in singing our first hymn, It is well with my soul.
that has come before God in our prayers of invocation and confession. Let us pray. Shine on us today, O God. Enter into our time of worship, that we may be blessed by your love. Fill our hearts with the good news. Let it change us and remake us. Let your people praise you, so that all of the earth hears of your goodness. Fill our mouths with words to make your way known to all. Peacemaker Jesus, you know us and love us unconditionally. Too often we do not love others as you ask us to. Caught up in conversation with others, we participate in racist slurs through wrongful words. We laugh at humour that is tinged with demeaning double meaning or allow insinuation of racism to continue. We can be too slow to act or speak out. Afraid for ourselves, we allow it to continue. Like Peter's denials after your arrest, we become afraid. We understand that being part of these conversations and not speaking up with justice and your love allows untruths and prejudice to continue. We are sorry that we participate in this thinking and action. We are sorry that we love as the world loves and allow judgment and prejudice to seep into our souls. Teach us your ways, Jesus, to love without prejudice and listen without judgment, to accept people as you do and gently teach a better way of being. Amen. A declaration of forgiveness. Turn to Jesus and listen deep in your soul. Allow the Spirit to be in you and around you. For as we do, our seeing and hearing, our thinking and our doing, grow with God's love and the fruits of the Spirit. Bless our souls with your love, God of all. Amen. Let us sing our next hymn, Tell Out My Soul, The Greatness of the Lord.
Our reading today comes from the New Testament, the Gospel according to John, chapter 14, verses 23 to 29. Let us hear the word of God. Jesus replied, Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Anyone who does not love me will not obey my teaching. These words you hear are not my own. They belong to the Father who sent me. All this I have spoken while still with you. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. You heard me say, I am going away and I am coming back to you. If you loved me, you'll be glad that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. I have told you now before it happens, so that when it happens, it does not happen, you will believe. So that when it does happen, you will believe. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. On this day, the sixth Sunday of Easter, Jesus promises the gift of the Holy Spirit, identified in John's Gospel as the Advocate, the Spirit of Truth. John's Gospel refers to the Spirit as the parakletos, the Greek Greek word for advocate, a term for someone who is called to one side as a source of help. In today's reading, Jesus announced that his Spirit will continue to be present amongst those who keep his commandment of love. Not if we love one another, Jesus will magically appear, but rather our love for one another will activate Jesus' presence. Jesus says, but the advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. We can experience the Spirit as a surprise, unexpectedly, like the wind, a deep sense of mystery, suddenly blowing through our whole being. Sometimes the awareness of the presence of the Spirit is a gradual but definite sense of God acting in one's life. The presence of the Spirit is recognised by the effects that are produced in people's lives. For the Spirit enables us to give visibility and definition to Jesus through our words and our deeds, and that is through our love. When Jesus was with the people, 
He brought the living relationship of God into the hearts and minds of people with passion and compassion. Through his human love, divine love entered and transformed the lives of people. In this experience, people recognized the presence of God and they named the experience Spirit. The response to love is love passed on. Jesus has passed on his love to us and we name that that particular love the Holy Spirit. Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper, who will stay with you forever. This is the spirit of truth. You know him, because he remains with you and will be in you. The disciples know the spirit, and to know in the Gospel of John is to be in relationship. Here is the promise of the gift of the Holy Spirit to the followers of Christ. The promise is that he will ask the Father to send the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete, to be with the disciples and with all of us today, 2,000 years later. The Spirit of Truth, the Advocate, the Holy Spirit is our advocate, is our counsellor, our intercessor, and our comforter. It is he, the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us, comforts us, guides us, and inspires us. And we will never be alone. In two weeks, God willing, we will be celebrating the day of Pentecost, the day of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon the disciples. But for now, in the context of our Bible passage, Jesus spoke to his disciples, promising to them the coming of the Holy Spirit, to fill them and guide and lead them in their living for Christ. Let us pray. Come Holy Spirit, tie us to Jesus and to one another. Breathe into us not only memories, but the very presence of Jesus, that we may love one another, even as Jesus has loved us. Amen. Let us come before God in the prayers of the people. Let us pray. Prejudice and judgment, loving God, can be seen across many communities. Today we bring before you some concerns that we see. Across the world, slavery is destroying lives and corrupting justice. Children, women, the poor, and where racism flourishes, become powerless in the face of arrogance and a perverted sense of importance. God of all, we cry out in distress and horror. This is not your way, and we do not want to be part of this. May our voice not be silent, and our action to stop this, be strong. Come, spirit of peace, bring your healing to this world. Amongst our multicultural society, racism that damages opportunities and affects our, how people listen, how they see and understand others. We see it, God of all, 
and wish to change these attitudes and practices. Teach us your way of loving all unconditionally. Bring to us the peace-filled attitude that calms the angry and cruel and opens a space where love can bring change and acceptance. We do not wish to give as the world gives, but to offer the world your love. Come, spirits of peace, bring your healing to this world. Amen. Let us join together in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us join together in singing our final hymn, Come Thou Long Expected Jesus. mission and blessing. We are the people of God. Let us choose not to live as the world lives 
and choose to love and give with care and kindness. Let us live as Jesus calls us to live. Let us be bringers of peace to this world. God's peace be with us as we leave. And may Jesus' love grow in us. Hear the Spirit's gentle calling. Listen and learn. God is with us. Hallelujah. Amen.